welcome to a new video so in this video we are going to see what are wave workers and how we use wave worker in the angular okay so just simple a scenario i will be showing you let just we have two buttons on the first button i am calling a method which will provide me a prime number out of let's say 9000 okay and i have another method which is calling a wave worker to get the same result okay so let me refresh okay so as you can see once i search in this text box let me copy paste okay so i can type and result is not filtering but i can type at least but if i click on the first button so you can see consoles are here and I cannot click anything because page is hang until I get the response the page become unresponsive see I cannot able to I cannot even click the right click also so that is because our code is running so as JavaScript is all we know like it's a single threaded language so my thread is busy on calculating that prime number okay so until that code is free I mean that computation is done I won't be ex I won't be able to access all the DOM element okay so let's just wait for some time once i get the response over here instead of zero yeah so now you can see i can type so this is because we have the computation going on on a thread okay so same way if we do this thing using web worker so let's say on this button click you can see the same console log over here so means this computation is but i can use the text box and i can do everything i can right so this is the advantage like if you have some computations or some code which is going to take so much time and you don't want your UI to freeze or browser to hang. So in that case you can always go for the web worker. So you can put that code whatever the code you think like it is going to take time for the computation. So that code you can keep it in the web worker. Now let's see how we implement web worker with the angular so we uh, angular team has provided the support for using angular cli only so to create the web worker they have a normal command so command is pretty simple ng generate web worker then we have to specify the folder in which we want this web worker right so if we say app so it will create in the app like on the parent app folder okay right now i have moved that to my layout fold uh, user app user list folder so once you run this command it will create two files one tsconfig worker.json it will be at the bottom okay then app worker the actual file it will be this you can see it has provided the lib reference what it has to take then add event listener will be there which will be what we can say a subscriber for when we call this web worker okay then once you can see from here we can send the message post message so once it send the post message it it will go to what we can say from wherever we have called that web worker and it has updated the angular.json and the app component because it has added the basic code so let me show you those things so angular.json we will have two entries of web worker just a configuration file what we have created okay and again in ts config app.json okay we don't need to provide that okay so first thing we have to run this command it will create a web worker then in web worker you will get the basic code like this only i have added this after some time so and i will show you the, my prime generator file just a pre, uh, simple function i have copied it from the web you can see is prime this function is responsible to check like the number is prime or not then whatever the number we pass like in, let's say 9000 or 10000 or 100 okay so the maximum number you provide to this function it will take that much time to process the prime number okay so and finally once it does the computation it will return the number 
now in user list component you can see what we have to do how do we create the web worker so this is just the basic code if type of worker is not equal to undefined constant worker just like simple we create the class new worker then we have to pass our worker file name okay so as you can see with dot slash because this worker file is my current folder only so i have used dot slash so app dot worker my worker file name then import meta url this is just a syntax then worker on message so this is a callback once this worker has finished his task and return some value so this is a callback for that worker dot on message let me add a debugger over here okay and worker dot post message so post message i have told you like this is to send event to that worker so once we send this post message it will come over here with the parameter we say let's save and check now let me enable the debugger okay so once i click over here first it will go to my prime number using web worker the second function so it will go inside over here it will create the worker okay so we have two callback on error and the on message on message we have implemented on error also we can implement if we come across any error while creating web worker and if uh, web worker returns some error message okay so currently we have just implemented the success callback so once we continue from this line it will go to, to my web worker so you can see i got in the web worker and in data i have got the data whatever i have passed from a user list component see 9000 is what i have passed and that is what i have got here then i'm calling that uh, another function which is cal uh, which is performing the calculation of my prime number okay so let's continue so once it done the performing all the calculation then it will send the message back using post message okay so let's just wait for some time so in console you can see the operations is being performed let's just wait for some more time because 9000 yeah so you can see response we have got 9,000, uh, that is the number which we have got. Now from here we are sending again event to the listener. So once we click here, continue, so you can see on message we have got and data, whatever the data we have passed from the web worker, we have got. So this is how we implement the web worker in Angular. So scenario can be anything, just a simple prime number calculation I have taken it. Your scenarios can be anything like complex UI generation, some image processing here, there are, you have so many images to be shown in the component. So in that case, normally you might have seen when we have so much images, the page gets stuck unless all the images get rendered. So in that scenarios also, you can go for the web worker. Okay. So thank you. Please do like and subscribe.